Lydia Daydal and Make Connect TV, and I'm here with the new champ, Mr. Dana O'Toole. What's the story? How are you? Finally, it's a pleasure. Finally, Thank you. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me one. too. I'm delighted, man. Is this your first post interview? Yeah, first of many. Yeah, no I hope way. so. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. I'm delighted. First, and every time I see you, I'm like, I must get Dano for an interview, and then I never do. We always like the night goes on, and I always miss you. But uh, congratulations. Thank you. How's it feel? Ah, amazing, over the moon. Hard, <laughs> hard work it was, but yeah. I'm delighted. It was tough. Like the opponent had changed. I was meant to fight a fellow Lee Copley, and yeah. the opponent changed there last Monday. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was kind of like shit, like last opponent, but I'm used to it. It always happens. Yeah. Nearly all my fights, I always get a pull out yeah. and I have to fight someone else. So, toward one. So, yeah, so fight camps, you know, with that in mind, you know, that you might have a pull out, like, do you just, because the SBG way is to just train for no opponents, you're just training to win that fight yeah. regardless of the opponent. Is that kind of the case with you personally? Do you definitely? I always stay ready, like, so I can jump on stuff. I always want to stay that fight fist so on a minute an opportunity comes up, I can just jump on it straight yeah. away. It's always happened, like, so the last two times I fought for the belt. It was literally a last week or a few days and I was like I was, I was ready anyway so I yeah. believe in myself yeah. it gives me that confidence to stay ready and go in and fight absolutely absolutely and absolutely what is the title is ISK ISK yeah, yeah. so it's just K1 but yeah. I'm hoping now this is I said I wanted to get a tour one and then after that I'm going to go to MMA with the rest of the lads so Yay! See what yeah, happens. The, for, the forbidden word in the at a show. <laughs> MMA, Carl right? won't be happy anyway. <laughs> yeah. Carl I know, he's like your little pro. Yeah, me and him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? He's like he's so proud of you. He's not here tonight. though No, he's he? not here. Yeah, actually, I don't know what happened, but he's in hospital. Somebody with his heart or oh, no he was way. out. So oh, I hope well, you got better Carl, coaching. I hope, hope you're doing even better. Um, probably broken heart because I told him I wasn't single. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. <laughs> See, that's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but um, so what? Your record wise now, amateur, what is it? What is 11 it? 11 and 1. 11 and 1. one. I like, lost the last on. CRC show for the CRC belt. Yeah. It was a split decision loss. It was like controversial, kind of. It was either side, but yeah. uh, I learned a lot from it. So. Were you fighting? Were you fighting Andre you? Gentlemore. You, oh, video, yeah. you had a, the video open yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. That, that so. was early. Um, like, that's a good record. Like, Thanks. that's a record not to be, like, that's a one to be proud of, you know? What is it for you, like, because we get a lot of people on the show a lot of them like to compete and a lot of them have kind of records where they're like four and three you know one and five you know and it's it's very rare that we get someone that has such a good record like you at amateur and for me just kind of speaking to everyone when you have a record that good at amateur it's saying a lot for your pro career do you know what i mean so what is it for you is it the training do you think is it where you are is it your experience like how you keep knocking up these wins you know definitely you've got trained martial arts since i was a kid i have a black belt in an irish traditional martial art no way so like i was in it years what and is it? it's what? a irish shuriken jiu-jitsu so it's like I've never it's a real like before. i use weapons and cars like machetes kind of yeah, all that yeah, kind of yeah, style yeah, yeah. and i kind of took like all my basics from that and when i brought the svg they kind of just developed me into like, yeah. m- better skills and mm-hmm. like you have the best trainer powers in that gym like n- without a doubt that's the gym you want to be in if you want to make anywhere yeah like everybody's there like you look at all the fires we have it's mm-hmm. crazy talent like it so is. yeah it's true it is obviously it's, it's not just coincidence yeah. you know you go in the gym people. anytime like and you see there'll be anybody there you can roll with you can spar with it's mm-hmm. not like you're looking for people have to text people there's always somebody there high level yeah. so I think that's important very you know, yeah you definitely just roll up to the gym and there's someone there streaming 100 percent, definitely yeah to get better anyway so yeah yeah so going back to your your childhood and starting out in martial arts was it your parents got you into it do you have family that are into martial arts like what's a little bit about your background my brother was meant to actually join like i was mad into football and gaa and stuff yeah. and um then my, fo- my brother was meant to join and i was like ah, I'll, I'll give it a go i ended up sticking to it falling in love with like the martial art traditional side of stuff and all i was real like from that humble background yeah and uh, i ended up staying there for years i graded and all in crow park we done it and yeah. I, I ended up getting my black belt and teaching kids and i i coached in sbg as well yeah. 12 o'clock tuesday class and I literally just fell in love with the sport and wanted to compete. Mm-hmm. So How old are you? Yeah, 21, just gone. Like, it's phenomenal <laughs> what martial arts does to people because, Definitely. like, 21, you're so mature and so calm and zen. You actually <laughs> remind me of John Cavanagh, the way you're so, like, the way John is very just zen and calm, even when he's just having a conversation with you. You're very like that as well, you know? Thanks. What do you attribute, the say, like, that maturity or the positives that you've, what positive have you taken from martial arts? Like, what has it done for you? It turned me into the person I am. Yeah. It kind of it brought me, like, it humbled me, kind of, you know what I mean? It made me see the bigger picture in life. Yeah. Like, I could be out, like, a lot of my friends and all, like, you know, like going out all the time, like clubs, drinking and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's not a life. I, I didn't want to live like that. I wanted to do yeah. something great myself and, like, look back in a few years and say, like, I achieved that. Mm-hmm. It was, like, so I'd be proud of myself when I'm older, so. Yeah. That's do you ever feel like you're missing out on, like, 
the drinking and the crack with the lads like do they understand that you have a goal and a focus yeah it's crazy like I, like my fights I'm, as an amateur like I sell 80 plus tickets yeah. like my last fight I started out like I had a Dublin bus two, two stories high like full of people it's crazy the support that you comes from a lot of support yeah. you know? like for an amateur yeah. especially on a K1 it's not even MMA so I'm grateful for that, like, yeah. so they do support me a lot. That's good, that's good. All those promoters out there, be like, <laughs> what's his leading number? <laughs> but listen, before I let you go, uh, next year, obviously, you're saying you're turning pro, yeah. MMA, amateur fights up. Amateur MMA, definitely, I'm probably K pro K1, definitely. Yeah. I want to try a bow. Yeah, yeah. So. How's your jiu-jitsu coming along? Ground game? Okay, yeah. Like yeah. I stuck. I was mad into it for a while, and I went off again. I'm like back and forth, but now yeah. after this, I'm gonna go straight back in at Good it. Good stuff. And is because obviously we just had your teammate Lee. Just we just got news that he took bronze yes, at the Lee. IMF yes. Europeans. Um, you know, no easy feat as well. He's some very tough matches. And he dominated that. Taking the arms home with him. Oh, was, uh, arm collector, what? Um, so obviously his SBG Jiu Jitsu came into play there. But is something like that, like the, the Europeans, the Worlds at Amateur MMA, is that something that I you're I heard the Worlds was coming over here yeah. in Dublin. So I was like, that would have been great for a start yeah. if I was able to get on that. If I got my Jiu Jitsu up, like Richie uh, Smullen is always jumping on my back. Yeah. He's always killing me in the gym and stuff. Jumping and on like, your back, jumping on your bleeding ankle, <laughs> your foot, or like, wait. Like, he's always slagging me and all saying, you need to get on these mats and all the dark side. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, definitely. Good stuff. Well, I can't wait. I'm really like I for any of the amateurs that I've spoken to or that I know, but you definitely for me are one of the the ones that I'm I'm going to be keeping my eye on. Definitely one to watch. Thanks, I appreciate that. No, no, not at all. And it was a pleasure to meet. I'm so happy you have the belt. Like it's great <laughs> to finally get to meet and get you on the show. But um, I just wanted to say a yeah, shout yes, out to my sponsor, Wincom, yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, just for all, uh, yeah, so this is the hoodies. So. Wincom, Wincom, Wincom engineering. Yeah. Shout so, out to the boys. Yeah, and it's uh, the back and stuff like that. You designed all these from your team, so. Dano too, yeah, good <laughs> stuff. Have we got the logo in? Can you see the logo? <laughs> Give him a good Thanks, shout Thanks, Declan. Out, yeah? Thank you. Move the belt. Move the belts. We're in, we're in. Thank you to Wincom. Uh, but before we go, how important is sponsorship to you? Because like, oh, there'll be a lot of people with companies D that are... Definitely. Like, he, he, like, anything I need, I go up to him. That can, uh, supports me 100%. Yeah. It's great getting like the support of big companies for amateurs because yeah. it helps us big time with training and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, from, from me to you, Declan, congratulations on supporting um, one of the biggest prospects in the amateur scene and, and soon to be a uh, professional as well. But listen, I'll let you get back to the lads. Thanks, thank yeah, you so much. That. Yeah, so it was much. so lovely to finally so get pleasure. you on. Thank you. Dan too.